so you've bought your first chickens and you're looking to introduce them to their new home. During this tutorial, we're going to go over how to introduce your chickens to their new home safely and all the equipment you should have in place. Firstly, let's go over what you're going to need. You're going to need a feeder and a drinker, some high quality grits and a grit pot. And it's also useful to have a boredom buster and some tonic to go into the water. Firstly, we want to begin by having the insides of their hut prepared with fresh bedding. There are many suitable types of bedding. The bedding we've chosen to use in this video is a flax bedding due to it being highly absorbent, which is perfect for the current winter environment. Just ensure that the one you choose is dust free for your chicken's respiratory system. Now we move on to the feed and water. We want to make sure we have a full feeder. Here we are using Versalaga Layers Mash, which is a dry feed, but layers pellets are also suitable. A good quality coarse mash is great for hens kept in a smaller run, as it is finer so it takes the hen longer to eat, providing entertainment and keeping them busy. Before you fill up your drinker with water, this is the stage when you put your poultry tonic into it. Before you flip your drinker over, you want to make sure this little indent is on the far side of where you flip. This is because this is where the water comes out of and if you do it the opposite way, you're going to get a lot of water everywhere. When you put your feeder and drinker into your chicken's pen, you want to make sure that you put the drinker on a level surface so that the water doesn't overflow on the sides. Not forgetting your poultry grit pot, which should be placed at around the chicken's head height, and also the boredom buster, which should be placed at a similar height. Now, let's move on to introducing the chickens. First of all, you want to make sure the door is shut. This is because we're going to leave them in a dark house for at least an hour. This way they can settle down before we open the door and let them out into their secure run. This is so they imprint where they live and when it becomes dusk, they naturally come back to that home. When opening your box, you want to make sure you only cut the one half Ensuring that the other half is still taped down, this adds to the control you have when taking your chicken out and also means the remaining chickens can't escape easily. With a gentle grip, you want to take your chicken out of the box and make sure you shut the lid first. Then you want to move on to putting your chicken into the hut, making sure you close the door after it. And just repeat the process with the remaining chickens. The top tip for the first night or two is to try to not shut your chickens in before it is totally dark. 90% of the time you will find your chickens will be able to find their own way home and you won't need to do anything. So avoid trying to round your chickens up when it's still bright and just leave them to it. When you open a chicken's door, you want to let the chickens come out in their own time. Chances are they'll be highly intrigued, which is why we like to throw down some corn and let them make use of their boredom buster. And that's all there is to it. It's really a simple process that you just need to be confident when handling the chickens. But thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out our channel for any other chicken related content and please like and share the video.